My name is Chris Perrin, and I'm your FIDE Fashion Week's digital correspondent. Right now, I'm here at the Perth Concert Hall, and preparations for the Telstra Perth Fashion Festival, as you can see, are in full swing. We have cranes constructing the tent, the media lounges, and all the party spaces which you are going to be able to enjoy come September 17th. The world's media are flying in, in droves, and the designers are already preparing their collections. I'm here backstage, preparations are in full swing, and boy do I have a treat for you. Red carpet staple, Hollywood doyen, and Filipino prodigy, Michael Cinco, has just touched down from Dubai about an hour ago, and he's already here backstage preparing his collection. Let's go take a look. Michael, so you've become known for the fact that you dress some of the world's most gorgeous women, from Rihanna to Beyonce to Jennifer Lopez. But when you design your gorgeous gowns, do you have a specific woman in mind? Uh, I think it depends on the woman who's going to wear the, or uh, it depends on the celebrity who's going to wear my couture piece. Uh, take for example for Beyonce, I think I have to make something very fierce just seem like her personality and also for Rihanna. But for Sofia Vergara, it has to be something like a red carpet couture gown. Yeah, it depends on each celebrity's personality. Yeah, but I have to, uh, they have to look glamorous and fabulous. What would you say is the craziest, most embarrassing, funny thing you've ever seen take place? I think one of the craziest things that happened uh, to me during uh, one of the fashion weeks that I have attended, or I have participated, is uh, when uh, people thought that I was one of the models during the, uh, the curtain call. I can definitely see it. I can definitely see it. I'm here backstage with Sebastian Gunawan, Asian Couture Federation Couturier Extraordinaire and he is currently in the process of fitting his models with the latest collection. Let's go have a quick chat and see how things are going. So we've heard from your team that you've actually created 35 pieces and this collection has been created especially for the Telstra Perth Fashion Festival. So what was your inspiration in creating this collection? It was inspired me by the painting from the 17th centuries. Uh, he's using a lot of dark as a background and flower with lighting. It's very clear, it's uh, very realistic, but very dramatic. So on the painting, it's really inspired me because it's masculine. It's, uh, 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 how you say it? Masculine, feminine, dramatic, clean, but also at the same time, it's kind of fusion, but, but it's modern at the same time. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed Team Fide's coverage of the preparations for the Telstra Perth Fashion Festival. So stay tuned in throughout the rest of the week for more exciting updates, exclusive content, and behind the scenes footage. Well, that's all from me, Chris Farron, your FIDE Fashion Week's digital correspondent. See you guys next time.